Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Alex Clemen from Asencourt Energy. How are you today? I'm great, Tracy. How are you? Thank you for having me. I've seen a significant flow of news release through Asencourt Energy, and we just can't get enough of Saskatchewan news. So can you tell me what your favorite, most significant piece of news is since, you, since in the last month and a half? Yeah, no, very easy to answer. Uh, we've, uh, we announced the uh, mobilization of our crew to build a road our, and camp for our 2021-2022 drill program, uh, which will begin uh, to turn, we'll turn the drills in the first week of January, but we're already building the roads. There's 60 kilometers of roads that need to be shored up and uh, we're excited that that's the first step. So we're on the ground. We're getting much closer to what will be our largest drill program today. And of course, many of us are all uranium followers. For those of you out there unfamiliar with Azincourt, Alex, would you mind giving us the three most competitive reasons why you should have Azincourt Energy or be reviewing it potentially for your portfolio? We are uh, we're an exploration stage company. Uh, we have um, a very large project surrounded by lots of big market caps, Arano uh, and Nexogen, uh, two of them. There's a couple of billion dollars in market cap right there. Um, we have a large project with 30 kilometers. That's about 18 miles worth of uh, targeted corridors. These are, these are um, specific to uranium deposition. Uh, they're exactly what you want to see. These are target corridors that need to be drilled. So we're beginning now. We've done 17 holes in, in uh, the last four years. We're going to be doing 30 to 35 holes just in uh, January, February, March of 2022. So uh, we're, we're well-funded. We have a lot of institutional support, which is good and very rare for a, pre a pre-discovery company, which we are, uh, but we're getting closer to impactful discovery. And this is uh, the biggest drill program to date, as mentioned, and we can do, we cash up to the point where we can do three or four of these um, comfortably. Uh, as well, the project is big enough where we could do three or four of these. There's that much in terms of target inventory to test. So let's talk about the drilling program because there has been news on your drilling program. Let's touch on some of those highlights, please. Yeah, we're going to be targeting several zones of interest. Um, I think the most compelling um, fact here is last year we did an abbreviated drill program. Uh, the uh, spring breakup came too early and we had to cut it short, uh, which we did. So we got five holes done, but the last three holes began to give us elevated uranium levels. So these weren't off the charts, but they were, you know, three or four times background, which is, which is a very positive um, outcome. But it, it gives you an idea when you look, those were the three southern holes of the five we did. So we're heading into a target corridor there that might be giving. So we're, we're excited to get back and continue to further target that, that zone uh, that we touched on last year uh, or earlier this year to be factually correct. Uh, but, but we're excited. This is, this is uh, you know, the right time. If uranium market continues to move in the right direction, it's been pretty volatile over the last 60, 90 days, uh, but, but we're still at 40, $45 spot. These are great numbers. We need to be, you know, we'll see maybe 50, 60, $70 spot. But if we're in a position to maybe announce impactful discovery in a robust uranium market, um, those, are, those are things you have to look at uh, as a very positive place to put your money. And let's also go back to one of those compelling advantages of Azincourt Energy. When you were talking about attracting institutional investors already, can you comment on that? Well, two things. Um, you know, obviously the, the funds, the institutional funds recognize the generational opportunity in the uranium space right now, or else they wouldn't be funding companies like Azincourt. But to take a company like Azincourt, which I think we raised close to $14 million in, in uh, 2021, um, Typically speaking, you're never going to see an institutional investor put money into a pre-discovery driller, uh, and they've done that and done it done it in a large way in, in 2021. All right. So, as in Court Energy, I'm sure I'm certain that you've got ESG funds also reviewing you as we speak. Would you say that's correct? Well, you know, look, carbon-free footprint. Uh, uranium is is getting a better reputation. It's safer now. Uh, in the nuclear space than it's ever been. Uh, and people are realizing we need alternative energy uh, sources and, and, and 
you know, nuclear is right there. So yes, it meets a lot of criteria for, for ESG, but, but at the same time, you know, individually speaking, um, as in court, we're utilizing, beginning to utilize artificial intelligence in, in our exploration modeling. Um, we're hoping that reduces the amount of money we spend in, in drilling, but also reduces that, therefore would reduce uh, environmental impact. There's less holes, there's not only uh, fiscally more responsive, uh, responsible, but it's also environmentally responsible. Uh, the less impact we can have, the better. And so there's that as well. Well, Alex, it's always such a pleasure to interview you. And while a lot of people want to talk about what they're doing moving forward, you have done so many things this last year with Asincourt Energy. Would you mind just commenting on what you think some of the biggest highlights are from this last year, 2021? Yeah, well, I, you know, there's a lesson to be learned. Uh, at the end of 2019, uh, we were on fumes. Uh, we, you know, we were trading at a very low market cap. I think we, were, we had a two cent bid. We had very little money in the bank and not a lot of interest. Um, and it, 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 it's been a 10 year bear market uh, really for, for the uranium space, but we stuck to our guns. We raised money however we could over the last four or five years. And we've, we've developed the East Preston project. We ended up now, you know, in that bear market, being able to earn our majority, which we have now a little over 70% of the project. Um, but we've done all of that, and in, in, in the lesson there is, is patience. And I think right now, uh, uranium investors are being tested because of the volatility in the sector. We had 70, 80, 90% gains on the table, 100% gains uh, in October. Those have been largely wiped out as the sector has kind of retraced um, towards the end of the year here. And, and I know a lot of people are looking at their uranium portfolios going, wow, I was so up. Now I'm so down. That's the test. But I would say, let the process play out. There's a supply demand scenario facing us here in the, in the sector that, that will continue to drive this. Uh, let's see what 2022 does. But I would sim simply say to people, the lesson is be patient and let the uranium sector pick up and, and watch companies like Asincourt in the exploration space. Um, impactful discovery in a hot market is the best scenario. Well capitalized as in court energy. Thank you, Alex Clenman, for joining us today and happy holidays to you. Thank you, Tracy. You too.